Hello everybody and welcome back uh, to another NHL 20 Ultimate Team video. Uh, last last Ultimate Team video was just a introduction of my team that I currently have since I started uh, doing this a couple months into NHL 20's release. Uh, so I just went over the team. Today uh, is the last day of the Willie O'Ree Squad Battles Week. <clears throat> so uh, for today I'm going to uh, play his team and uh, just get the uh, gameplay of that. Uh, I'm not too sure how I feel about playing on Superstar, uh, but I'll, I'll give I'll give All Star a shot. Uh, not too sure how it'll go, but I'll try it. Uh, in case you didn't see the last one, this is um, this is my team, my forwards, my defensemen, and my goalies, Tukes and Demko. So that's my team, uh, and I'm going to get into the game here. So we're away. Um, so those are my away jerseys. So I haven't found uh, haven't found new away ones quite yet, but. I was looking the other day, and I was trying to find the Spit and Chicklets uh, white OA jerseys, but there was only two on the market for 39000 and then 49000 so not only did I not have the coins at that time, but I just really didn't feel like, uh, didn't feel like spending 40000 50000 on a jersey, so that's why I didn't. Still rocking the Hershey Hershey Bears jerseys. The Bruins take possession here on the opening try. We are underway. Pasternak's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, not who I wanted to go to right there. Tosses it to Marshawn. Some great thievery in the open. Oh, offsides. There's the whistle. No, that wasn't the play I wanted. I was trying to get it to Bergeron in the slot, but it went to Park on the point. As Bergeron was busting in down the middle, I jumped it. So, one thing, uh, if you watch that I do, I tend to hit a lot and like throw the body unnecessarily, like charging at people just to hit. Uh, so, Sometimes my defense can be pretty shaky, but pasta. Marchand, who's still on the ice. Ah. Taken by Bergeron. The Bruins take it along the wall. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession and forces a huge turnover here. So Bork. No, actually, I think O'Reilly. O'Reilly is my longest active player. Uh, meaning on this current lineup, current squad, he's the player that's been on it the most, most games, most amount of time. And I believe Bork is second. Uh, so I picked up some Bruins alumni early on. Oh, I don't have a move. Besser. Taymu. Yeah, typical NHL cross crease, but you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. I'll take it. Coaches and players always talk about getting out to an early lead. How do you 
can dictate the pace. And now he angles it across to Ovechkin. Through to the middle, here's a blast. Launch Go, Terrio. Terrio. Oh, again, not who I wanted to go to, but wasn't terrible. Yeah, positional play. Trache, Dallas, Truba, O'Reilly. Ah. I think right now I'm in row three or elite three, one of the two. It's the last day of the week and I only have like 7,000 points. Uh, I've only played like three or four games, something like that, but... Get there, Brad. Oh, we killed the penalty. That's good. Uh, while I'm playing, I guess I'll talk a little bit about uh, some NHL news, or not necessarily news, but headlines. Uh, I guess one couple teams are just getting back now from the all-star break um, I think it was Martin's his first name Martin Furk um, had a slap shot in the AHL skills competition or all-star skills competition whatever you want to call it um, he had a slap shot speed of 109.2 which if he was in the NHL that would have been the all-time record because uh, Chara's record is 108.8 I'm not sure if it counts as the hardest shot since it was in the AHL I think it's kind of one of those things where there's an asterisk next to it uh, like the uh, baseball allegations about cheating now uh, but oh he's got a hot streak going right now Andrew Paul. Uh, so yeah 109.2 for him and he was in the NHL at one point this season. Uh -huh. So if only he somehow pulled one out of his hat to make the NHL All-Star uh, game and skills comp and did that, that would have been would have been pretty cool to see that. But as a Bruins fan, still pretty cool to see Chara hold that record for now. Um, was something that happened last night. Sorry, I kind of blanked a little bit trying to get the puck. Uh, but something that happened last night, and it was Edmonton versus Calgary. Oh, oh. Uh, what's Cassian versus Kachuk? They fought again uh, in another little matchup that they have their feud going this season. Um, stuff happened couple weeks ago maybe a month month and a half ago uh, Kachuk was just hitting Cassian left and right and uh, was taking shots at him and all that stuff and then Cassian uh, ran in and I think something happened the next game they played uh, and then last night they got in a fight and uh, I'm not sure if they finished it but they settled it for now uh, Cassian won the fight I do believe I didn't really see the game uh, but that's from what I've heard. Oh, Bergeron. Ah. Uh. 
I uh, brought up asterisks and baseball scandals and cheating and stuff. I uh, talked a little bit about baseball. Uh, I think they kind of settled the suspensions and that stuff, but I can't really confirm. I, I don't know what they're going to do. I know Astros manager... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Astros manager AJ Hinch got suspended for the year. Uh, and then he was released. Now Dusty Baker will be managing the Astros for the 2020 season. Uh, Carlos Beltran, who was introduced as the Mets manager. I don't even know when it was. Um, but it was sometime in the offseason, I believe. And he never got to manage a game. Um, he, they fired him due to his... Uh, time on the Astros during the time period of the scandal uh, as a player, so they fired him um, Same thing with the Red Sox manager. He was on the Astros During the time of their scandal, but they were they fired him more because the Red Sox were also accused of cheating in their playoff run in 2018 um, So three managers were fired in the span of like 20 like seven hours maybe not even maybe more or less but it wasn't uh, it was a lot of managers in a short amount of time so you, you don't like to see uh, something like that happen just doesn't look good for the sport or the players or anything uh, baseball Red Sox um, I guess they're actively trying to trade Mookie Betts now, and I guess there was a report out today uh, that things are really heating up on the trade front for Mookie. Uh, I guess they're looking to trade him. I guess that they offered him a couple long-term deals, and he wanted more money than what they were offering him by like a hundred million or 120 million, something like that. Um, so he he rejected and I don't think they're looking to spend that kind of money right now so it looks like they're gonna trade him I think the Padres were the front runner um, but I'm not too sure about that big save by Tukes uh, football this is, I'm recording this on Thursday obviously last day of the squad battles for Willie O'Ree, um, but so Thursday and this this coming week weekend is Super Bowl Sunday, Chiefs versus 49ers. I'm not really sure who I feel will win. I think it's going to be uh, pretty. Oh, if you look at the rosters and records and stuff, it should be a pretty evenly matched game. But we all know how Super Bowls go with either a team blowing it in the first five minutes of the first quarter or blowing it in the third and fourth quarter by 28 points or 25 points whatever it was uh, you just you never know with these kind of things always seems like momentum plays a bigger role in the Super Bowl than any other game uh, of the year but it should be a fairly even game should be an entertaining one uh, I think I'm kind of hoping for, not hoping, but rooting for uh, Mahomes and the Chiefs to win. Uh, nothing against the 49ers, but be kind of uh, uh, speak. Uh, be kind of cool to see Garoppolo win one after spending all that time as a backup. Uh, but at the same time, I like Mahomes. Everybody likes Mahomes. Uh, I like Travis Kelsey. And uh, Andy Reid, the big man, uh, kind of cool to see all them win a uh, Super Bowl. So, kind of pulling for the Chiefs, but you never know. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. So, that's uh, <clears throat> some of the, well, some of the news. Uh, more, not uplifting, but more positive compared to what happened last Sunday, I believe it was. 
uh, news broke, and I'm sure, but like by the time I upload this, everybody's gonna know it's gonna have been talked about for a week. Um, but Kobe Bryant passed away uh, on Sunday due to helicopter crash in California. Um, not only did he pass away, but his 13-year-old daughter and seven other people. Um, there was a baseball coach who coached Aaron Judge and Chris Bryant, I think it was. Uh, but he coached a couple of big leaguers. But it was him, it was Kobe, his daughter. That baseball coach, I believe his name was Chris Altavelli, maybe. I'm not sure on the first name, but I believe that was his last name. Uh, but Kobe, his daughter, Altabelli, his wife, his daughter, the pilot, and like two other people. Um, a total of nine people, I believe it was. And, uh, it's just sad to hear. Because uh, it's hard to believe because Kobe, uh, he just was kind of one of those presences that you, you hear the name Kobe Bryant and you just think invincible and you know just him passing away like that at such a young age is just hard to believe uh, I think what made it more tragic than what it already was was that his daughter uh, was on board and just the fact that she was 13 years old and that happened is just absolutely horrifying and uh, it's just sad in every way uh, it's been cool to see all of the uh, support, not necessarily support, but uh, honoring uh, might be a good word. Um, but how everybody in the, in the sports community has honored Kobe. Um, you know, there's been videos of multiple uh, basketball teams of all levels, college, pros, high school. Uh, doing the 24 second and 8 second violations at the beginning of the game. Uh, last night Alex Ovechkin wore the number 24 in warm-ups. Um, Mark Cuban, the Mavericks owner, retired those numbers, maybe 24, I'm not sure about 8, but he retired 24. Uh, Quinn Cook, I think it was, on the Lakers, changed his number from 2. Uh, to number 28, adding Kobe's number 8 and his daughter Gianna's number 2. Uh, I think I saw a report saying all of the NBA players have kind of agreed uh, that they will not wear 8 or 24. I'm not sure if it's forever or just for the season, I don't know. I think I heard it. Uh, there was murals and stuff going on in L.A. Uh, there was those videos of the players on NBA 2K uh, in my park I think it is I haven't played 2K in a while so I can't really speak on that but all those players uh, honoring him in that way uh, just a whole bunch of different things that people are doing to honor uh, Kobe and uh, is just definitely pretty cool to see uh, but it's still sad and devastating nonetheless for uh, everybody, all the families involved and everybody that Kobe and everybody in that helicopter affected. Uh, just something you don't wish and you don't like to see. Uh, four to one, five minutes left on All-Star. Uh, kind of, I don't know. Oh, man, we got a penalty. Uh, kind of wondering if I should have put it on Superstar since I'm up 4-1. to one. Uh, not, not that this wasn't a challenge, but just if I could have gotten a little more a little more uh, points uh, at the end of the game if, if we win. There's still time, to, still time to blow it. You guys saw 2011 playoffs with Toronto. Uh, and so, yeah, shots fired at the Toronto fans. Woo! Bergeron, upper 90 and down. That was nice. 5 to 1. Assist from Dougie and Tooks. Right down. Uh, I don't know if I've said it in the last video. Uh, my captain, Brad Park, 
and my assistants are Patrice Bergeron and the other I believe is Joe Sackick a uh, player I want to buy or acquire somehow whether it's I don't think I can pull him anymore I think I'll have to buy him uh, but I want to get the Flames icon Lanny McDonald card um, I just he's kind of one of those players that I uh, want to get I used to have Zidlicky uh, when his icon card was out but I sold him and I that's how I got uh, my first line uh, that week I sold a bunch of players and icon uh, cards like the uh, collectibles and uh, bought the 90 Bergeron 90 Marchand and 91 uh, Pasternak at the time that was their highest card since then uh, I think I think Bergeron is still that's his highest card um, Pasternak's got a 93 and I think marshan has got a 93 um, I can't confirm I don't know exactly but I believe that's what it is um, so I don't know if I want to uh, get those cards I'm not too sure it really matters that much uh, since like these uh, cards that I have for them are like 20 more points than games played uh, if that makes sense they're just killing it uh, for me so Oop. there's one player I want to get back it definitely be Zidlicky though uh, that I used to have uh, I liked him I picked him up and then I ended up getting rid of him there was one night where I was opening a pack and it was a special pack I'm not sure what it is might have been a mega pack or something but I opened up a pack and the first pack I pulled a special card and it was 86 team of the week I think it was 86 uh, but it was team of the week um, oh Solani Hatcher oh uh, 86 team of the week Vasilevsky and then I opened a second pack right after it and I got 80 or no I think it was 91 headman team of the week I believe um, not too can't say I remember uh, but yeah going up to pro 2 it's probably where I'll finish They'll, that or I'll drop down to pro 3 I don't know but I'll be there um, 3100 points almost 32 this game was on all-star I kind of wish I played on Superstar, uh, just because it was five to one. Uh, got some uh, objectives. You see that five thousand shots on goal. Um, I got five thousand hits before I got five thousand shots. Um, so that should tell you a little something about my playing style. Um, I used the points: Solani two goals, Antropov, Bergeron with one. Um, Langenbrunner, Hamilton, Bork, and Truba with an assist. Pasternak with a goal. I think his name is Szemski, Besser, Park with an assist. And Sakic, Vanek, Marshan, Huberdeau, Catellus, Trottier, O'Reilly with none. Uh, goalies, Tukes, not bad. He really had 30. Well, I didn't think he had 30 shots against, but I guess he did. Uh, either way, 30 saves. 96 or 0.968 and one goal against and uh, pretty good game Tuka with the first star Tuka's my favorite player if you haven't noticed because I'm using his 86 instead of Demko's 87 and my name team name is Tuka time uh, so that's a pretty good indicator uh, but that's about it for this one um, I might play another game or two here uh, before well, I got three hours to play uh, these four games if I feel like I might play might play those two I don't know probably won't end up playing those two but um, if not I'll end up either in pro 3 or pro 2 if I don't play if I do chances are yeah there's no way I could get up to elite 3 so I'd the highest I could go is pro 1 uh, but if I stay here, those are my rewards. Uh, kind of getting back into it a little bit. Uh, playing more often. 
go and take these rewards. Uh, but that's about it for this one. Uh, that was just playing the Willie O'Ree team. Oh, we got four contracts and an injured player. Uh, but that's about it for this one. Uh, if you haven't, go check out my franchise mode videos. I'm playing as the Ottawa Senators. Uh, I'm, that's probably the most frequent upload uh, for NHL that I do. Uh, I'm going to bring MLB uh, to the channel pretty soon. I just got to re-download it because I needed space for other games. So I'm going to have those coming soon. Um, if you haven't, go check out my NASCAR YouTube, J.A. Diecast. Uh, my Instagrams, J.A. Diecast and J.A. Sports Mem. Uh, check out all my other pages that I'll have linked in the description. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you guys for watching.